But you know what? Today, you guys, we're increasing rain. Yes, indeed. The east and west coast sea breezes, boom, battling it out. Who's ready for that? Mm. <laughs> ready I to have go. my umbrella in the car this good, week. Good, so. good. You're going to need it Progress. later today as we show you a beautiful live view in Brevard County at Port Canaveral. There's the Exploration Tower all lit up. Right now, it's 77, but it feels like 78 degrees later today, certainly getting hot into the mid-90s with rain chances increasing. We do have what will likely become the next name storm, Isaias, heading into today or possibly tomorrow, still halfway between Africa and the Lesser Antilles, but heading into next week, the computer models do want to turn it to the north and near the Bahamas. So the question is, Sunday early in the morning, will it be this close to us near the Bahamas? And then what happens after that? Would it curve around and being, be pulled by that area of high pressure away from us, or would it be close enough that it would give us some issues? Still very early to tell, but we're going to watch that one very closely. Right now, here's the forecast. Hour by hour today, by noon up to 88. Then we get up to 94 at 4 o'clock today with a 60% coverage of those afternoon storms. Mid-70s to upper 70s out the door right now, but here's a look at the Pinpoint Accurate Forecast. Your forecast is brought to you by Daytona Beach International Airport. So after 2 p.m., we see the chance for some stronger storms. There's 3 p.m. on to 6 p.m., the coverage of rain up to 60%, and again, highs in the mid-90s, but at times feeling more like the triple digits before the heaviest of the rain rolls in. Then for tonight, rain chances do taper off to 20% after 8 o'clock, and we're still in the upper 70s, near 80 degrees as late as 11. So here's the future radar. This is the brand new model data just coming out, updated from the top of the 430 when we were on at that early hour. So this data showing a little bit of a later onset of showers and storms for today. So there we go at 6 a.m. We take you on through 2 p.m. And as we stop the clock, that's when we begin to see the West Coast sea breeze begin to develop west of our area, just in western zones, western sections of Marion and Sumter, and then it pushes west to east. And then the East Coast sea breeze begins to push storms from east to west. And so there's that battle back and forth after 5 p.m. So right around 5 along I-4 and then continuing with a strong risk of a few stronger storms at around 9 o'clock tonight. Then after that, they begin to taper off. Highs today in the mid-90s inland, low 90s along the coast. But let's get results with your 7 day forecast as we do. You'll see those rain chances a little lower later in the week, but fairly high today and tomorrow at 60%, 50% Wednesday, 30% Thursday, Friday, Saturday and Sunday.